Okay, hey, uh, I'm Charlie, and we're doing another guitar lesson today. Uh, sorry it's taken so long to get another one up here, but here we go. Uh, we are going to talk about the major scale, and you hear a lot of people uh, doing what we call chicken picking or um, uh, double stops. Uh, and so we will um, teach, I will teach you a little bit today about you know, how to play in the major scale and have it be a little bit more fun than just playing your, uh, your relative minor scale. So those of you who don't know the relative minor scale, um, if I'm playing in A minor, if I play that, which would be, you know, on the fifth fret, one, two, 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 one, okay, I'm going to move this back three frets to the F sharp and play the same thing, and that's going to give me, except I have to resolve on the A notes, and that's going to be the same, so back three is going to be... Uh, your A major scale in terms of your, it's basically called a relative minor. So you're going to go, and it's still an A, but you're resolving, instead of resolving on the F sharp note, you're resolving on your A. So it, okay, so, and so that's a good place to start, but probably most of you know a lot about that. So if someone's playing a country lick like this, you're probably going to go like this. do in the middle of that is what we call double stops, which will be are is in the last lesson we talked about your inversions so you've got a okay and you've got a which is half of your bar chord here you've got a which is your D shape okay all the way up here on the ninth fret and then your a again here okay and what I'm doing is I'm picking two notes from those inversions and I'm working from them okay so the first one we want to start with is uh, your basically it's like an F shape on the fifth fret so if this is your F move it up to the fifth fret and you're basically going to be working with these these two notes right here and you're going to go like um, it's going to be on the G string and the E string and you're going to go and you're going to the, the picking is I use my middle finger and the pick and I hold my hand kind of like that and I go Pick, pluck, pick, pluck, pick, pluck, pick, pluck, pick, pluck. So it's. And you can see it resolves on these two, which is the D shape of the A, right? So from here, you can move it up to the ninth fret. That's an A, hear it? A, 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 right? So I'm going to go from this A. This is an A, right? And then this, believe it or not, is an A seventh. You can hear it. Here's an A. There's an A seventh, so I'm just proving it to you. A, A seven. Now I'm going to take these ones in a nice little run. It's also a nice little blues turnaround. So you can start is from this one. You would go on these two. You'd go. good starting point for you. The next place which I really like to use is starts from this A or it can be on this A up here because after 12 frets it starts over is again it's going to be on the D and the B string and you're going to do your pick pluck again. I'm not a real technical player but 
you know, um, I can fake it. And so this is how I've learned how to do it. I usually pick with my middle, pluck with my middle finger. So I pick, pluck with my middle. So, and then I move to this shape here. And then I move it a half step up. So it's um, uh, middle finger on the fourth fret D string and the pointer finger on the D note on the B string, which would be third fret. So it goes from here. And then half step. And then leave because uh, you're half step up. So now your your um, middle finger won't move from the fifth fret on the D string, and you're gonna your last one will just uh, move this note up a half step to here, uh, which would be on the D on the B string. So you're gonna go from your pointer finger to your ring finger. So it's gonna look like this. thing about it is you can go both, both ways. And the same with this one. Same with this one. Or you can put them all together and go. that stuff, you'll become a better guitar player. See you later.